Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Well, Mark, there's a tractor. It sure looks different than it did when you took it off the farm down to get it restored. I tell you, it looks, it looks better than it did when it was new. Calvin Frells is more than a little pleased with the work his son Mark did to get this prairie gold peach of a tractor restored. It's a Minneapolis Moline UTS, purchased brand new by Calvin and his dad, Ed Frells. The dealer had it on his showroom floor and kind of fell in love with it when we seen it and, and, and uh, just decided that it was it would fine for us, that we didn't order it, but uh, it's just like going and buying a car and finding a feature that you like and didn't really wasn't too familiar with, but we liked it. So now this is a 1956 UTS, yeah, yeah. you special. You bought it in what, you and Grandpa bought it in what year? 56. And, right in 56, yeah, yeah, in that same yeah, year, and yeah. brought it home. Yeah. I remember when that was brought home and how happy he was. And we lived in a tenant house. And he um, brought the tractor down after they delivered it and drove it around and around the tenant house. And he just was just grinning. He was real happy. We had a neighbor girl that was farming, and her our old tractor, and her she had a bigger she had a tractor like this, bigger than the one I had. So I got finally got a tractor as big as she had, so I could plow as fast as she could. That's it. <laughs> Plowing and disking is exactly what this sturdy mini mo with the heavy duty wide front end was built for, and that's mostly how it was used on the Frells family farm in Rock Island County, Illinois, back in the 50s and 60s. The UTS was a full three-plow tractor that produced 40 horsepower at the drawbar. Very handy to have around the farm, and, at, and, the, and in 1956, lots of power. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, right. It's a four-cylinder, 283 cubic inch motor, Yeah. and like I said, it has a very low RPM, and it's a great pulling tractor. It really is. Got a lot of lugging power. It'll hang on and pull. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wouldn't believe it. The tractor uh, meant, a, meant a lot to me because Dad and Grandpa had it. It was their first tractor, but... In addition to that, it was the first tractor I got to learn on, and that was because of the safety features, wasn't it? Yeah, well, um, yeah. I got to stand on the back because of the wide platform and because of the hand clutch, and the big fenders offered some safety as well. So it was the first tractor that I used, probably in the hay field was the first time that I <laughs> used this tractor, pulling, pulling the uh, guys when they were picking up bales. So it meant a lot to the entire family as far as that goes. Though the UTS did a lot of work in its day, eventually Calvin retired it to a shed in the early 1970s. More than 20 years later, with the UTS looking rough around the edges, Mark decided it was time to bring the family tractor back to its original glory. Of course, the paint was pretty well shot. It hadn't been run for about 20 years, uh, and the tractor pretty much needed everything. Uh, but what's important is fundamentally it was all there, all the parts were there, all the pieces were there. The fellows down at Jansen Brothers at Sigel, Illinois, did the restoration. They did a beautiful job. Well, I thought it was a really good idea because, uh, you know, I knew that uh, the Minneapolis Moline was very special to Calvin. And um, I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> um, and so I thought it was a really good idea because it would be a nice um, keepsake for the family to have and enjoy that he actually did farm with. After restoring the UTS, Mark made sure that the Farmall Super M his wife Ann's father farmed with was also preserved. So we now have a tractor uh, from both my wife's family and my family that both the fathers used in the home farming operations that were in those operations for generations. So it's kind of fun to have both tractors. Minneapolis Moline only built 974 tractors like this one with a heavy I-beam axle on the front. And this UTS is also out of the ordinary because the Frells family gave it a rather unusual nickname. Well, the name is Bimbo. And they used to have a program on television. Isn't that right, Mark? That's correct. And uh, they had a baby elephant on there. They called him Bimbo. And he used to watch that story all the time. And I don't know why, but we just thought, well, we'll call that tractor Bimbo. So uh, that's kind of <laughs> how it got its name. Yeah, it's Bimbo. And this tractor has been bimbo forevermore, and yeah. the cousins know it by that name, and everybody in the family knows it by that name. Yeah, so yeah. so it, is, it does have its own special name for a variety of reasons, yeah. Whatever the name, there's no doubt that having this tractor back in like-new condition is a treat for the whole Frells family. My grandfather was uh, not only an excellent farmer, but very particular. And I think the way the tractor has been restored 
would satisfy him. He would like that. He'd giggle. He'd laugh. <laughs> he'd think it was great. Yeah, he'd think it was great you had it back. He'd, 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 uh, yeah, he'd be proud of that. Oh, it's still very much fun to drive for me. I like to go on the tractor drives. It's, it's a great hobby uh, and a great chance to teach people about agriculture. Feels like old time, feels like good time. <laughs> yes, sir. Makes you feel younger. <laughs>